an internal oh rotation. God. Whoa, she's got nothing. Wow. She's got nothing. Well, bring the arm up into function. Oh, wow, wow, eh? Like a three layer too, it just has a smoother movement again. Okay. So when we do range of motion testing in a line, when we're working with our clients, we want to make sure that our clients aren't compensating at all and we stabilize that um, joint. Often I'll ask my client, oh, can you turn your neck okay? And they'll tell me, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can look back, no problem. And uh, no, that's, that's cheating. We want to stabilize the joint so that we're isolating that movement and range of, with uh, the range of motion that we do. So with uh, Helen's shoulder here, what we're going to do, just to see where she's at with range of motion, is we're just going to give the top of the shoulder joint a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, and then we're ready here. And we're just going to bring our arm up into flexion to see how far she can go. I'd say that's about 170 degrees, would you say? Not quite the 180. She's at 170, though. I'm bringing the arm back. And I'd say she's about 40, 40 degrees or so. In abduction, I'm bringing the arm up. She's got her 120 external rotation. She's got her full 90 degrees. And the internal rotation, uh, about, 40, about 45 degrees. So now let's hold the laptop on your lap. You're gonna have to do this one-handed because I still need your arm, okay? Okay, so I'm really excited <laughs> to see what happens here, but your arm, uh, your arm and uh, with doing all these uh, <laughs> tests so far, I noticed that the limbs just feel so heavy. So, all right, so shoulder flexion again. Okay. We're bringing the arm up. Oh, really? Yeah, and you can left. see that <laughs> she's locked. I don't know, I might be generous and give you about 140 degrees. So quite compromised from 170, 30 degrees. Even five degrees being off in the body affects those neural systems again. So five degrees over, five degrees under, that's, that's 30 degrees, quite, quite significant. Wow. And now I'm bringing your arm into extension. Thank you. So I'm bringing the arm back. And that's even compromised too, bringing, uh, bringing the arm back too. She's quite locked. So you were about, I can't remember if I saw it, but 45-ish degrees. Mm, 120 degrees there. And abduction, she's got a hard stop at 90 degrees. She was 120. External rotation, mm, looks about 80 degrees instead of her full 90. And internal rotation, whoa, she's got nothing. Wow. She's got nothing. Well, 10 degrees maybe, maybe. <laughs> feel, feel yes, that's uh, so restricted. Okay, so now, arm sticker time. Maybe place it. Maybe you get to choose. Where did you maybe by the, I think maybe by the escape. Alright. Um, maybe somewhere around here. Right here? Sure. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right. We'll give it a go. Alright. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so let's see here. Again, we're going to uh, just stabilize the shoulder joint, bringing the arm up into flexion. Wow, 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 eh? Like it's a three layer good. too. It just has a smoother movement again. Bringing the arm oh, back. Better. No, I would say that's even improved a little bit. Abduction. Wow. That's improved. Bring your arm back. Full 90 degrees. It's restored. Internal rotation. And for sure, it's back where uh, it was. originally with our first test. So that is cool. so exciting. Now we're going to summarize what we just saw and compare the results. In the baseline, we measured the following range of motion across these five tests. Vertical arm lift was 170 degrees, measuring from hip to elbow. Arm back, we saw 40 degrees from the shoulder to the elbow. Raising the elbow up, we saw 120 degrees from the shoulder to the elbow. The external rotation was 90 degrees from the elbow to the hand and the internal rotation was at 45 degrees from the elbow to the hand. That is the baseline. Now look at what variance we see when the laptop is put on her knee.
Here we see the snapshots from the radiation exposure tests where there is no Omnia radiation balancer on the laptop. If you can see the original extension at 170, this was reduced to 140 degrees and that's a 30 degree difference. Then we see a 20 degree reduction on the arm back. We see 30 degrees reduction on the elbow up, minus 10 on the external rotation and a huge 35 degree drop on the internal rotation of the forearm. Basically every single measurement was down by a significant margin. The body contracted and was limited by the wireless radiation energy from the laptop. Now let's look at the results when the orb was placed on the laptop. Did this make any improvements? The orb results are on the third row and if we grey out the second row see how the results are all back to 100% normal or better. This is because the orb brings the radiation field to what we call balance and centeredness and the body likes this new energy field because its electrical current is now spinning in the same way as the current in our cells. So now we have resonance in the body. Let's have a look at the results that Virginia observed. You see all the negative variances in red caused by the radiation exposure, but all of them went back to normal when the orb was put on the laptop and the arm back test even improved by five degrees. Now let's take a final look at these three exercises in the middle. We believe our snapshots show that the orb is even edging towards a better range than we saw in the baseline. The arm is further back here, it's higher up in the second, and it's further back in the external rotation. But we'll let you make your own mind up about these pictures. And if you try these tests at home, do let us know how you got on. Finally, while we have your attention, we just want to show you the results of some of the applied kinesiology, also known as muscle testing, that Virginia did with Helena in the same session. We'll get you to come around to the side of the table and let's see how strength is affected by the soft belt. So we'll just see where Helen's at and we'll use a shoulder test for the purposes here. Um, actually, we'll start with your lats. Okay. Holding your arm in and don't let me push out, or pull out rather, so I'm holding. And she's nice and strong. And bring your arm out to the side and don't let me push down. And she's very strong. Okay, so let's try it with her cell phone. Okay, I'm gonna re repeat those um, strength okay. tests again. Okay, muscle tests again. Holding your arm into the body and don't let me pull out. <laughs> oh, really strong. And you can see that it totally wings, wings her uh, arm out. She's trying really hard there. <laughs> so nuts. Okay, now bring your arm out and holding really strong for me. <laughs> no, and she's just not able to oh hold that. So, Omnia radiation balancing, balancer time. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's try again. again. Okay. Yeah, Here we go. Testing. Oops. Are round three and holding the last. Holding in. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. Oh wow. Yeah. And she's yeah. Super Good. Strong. Very good. <laughs> and holding your arm. Don't okay. let me push down. And holding. Oh wow. And I could probably do chin-ups on her shoulder, which is uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We've been feeling that. So holding your arm in. Yep. And she nice still and remains strong. strong. And holding your arm out, don't let me push down. And she's strong. Okay. So typing time. All right. Bring. Let's see. Okay. Yep. All right. So uh, holding your arm in towards your body and don't let me pull out. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, want to try just one more time? Yep. And holding your arm in and there is nothing there. Holding the arm out to the side, delta, don't let me push down. So holding up. Oh, I can already feel it's holy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, so happy to me, right? Okay, so muscle testing the downsides, holding your arm out to your side and holding for me. And then lats, so we can hold your arm into your body and don't let me wing it out. So I'm holding. And you can see that your um, so cool. strength is restored. Omnia wins again, undefeated champion with all our EMF exercises that we've done today. Um, wow, that, uh, that was really neat to see with our findings today. Tim, I'd like to thank you and your team at Omnia for uh, letting us try this demonstration to see um, to see and bring the awareness of how uh, these electromagnetic frequency waves are affecting um, our physical health. Elen, thank you for helping me too. Aviana, great job. And um, 
what else? The solution. The solution is the, the easy solution. All, all we have to do is put the sticker onto our device to restore our balance, our strength, our health again. And I always tell my clients, health is wealth, invest in yourself. And these stickers last a lifetime. Thank you, Omnia, the best in health to you all. Bye-bye for now.